Section 1, Working Efficiently. Lesson 4, Saving. Although the usual format for saving documents is as a Word document with a .docx extension, it's possible to save in many other formats. One file type is plain text, which has a .txt file extension. In this case, all formatting, styles and graphics are removed, so the file is therefore reduced to the simplest possible text format. Therefore, it's much smaller and it's recognisable by most other applications. If you wish to save in a format that can be read by any version of Word, not just the more recent ones, but still keep some of the original formatting, then in that case it's advisable to save in a rich text format, that's with a .rtf extension. If you wish for the document to be viewed as a web page, it can be saved in HTML format, in which case the extension is .htm. The location of saved files can also be specified. So the first thing we're being asked to do is to open the data file links to, which is open here on the screen. This is a multi-page document. It's got a table of contents. It's had hyperlinks created, and it's been sa it's been saved originally as a DOCX file. The first thing we're going to do with this is save it as a text file, a TXT file. So in order to do this, press File save as I'm saving onto the Word Data Files folder here but wherever you decide you're going to be saving yours and at that stage I want to change the file name to links 3 and I want to make sure the save as type is set as plain text that will then save it as a txt file If you do get a file conversion pop-up, then as far as I'm concerned, I know with this one, I'm just going to agree with everything and press OK. Next, we will save the file as an RTF file. So select Save, Save As again. This time, I would like to change the name to Links 4 and save as type we're going to change to rich text format which will then save as an RTF file. Finally we're now going to save it as an HTML file so again save as this time we're going to call it links 5 and we're going to specify it's in HTML format, which is as web page. And then press save. That's now been saved. Okay, now let's double click on links3.txt to open it, which is this one here. If you need to specify an application, choose Notepad. What you'll find once it's opened, the text content is all present, but there's virtually no formatting, no special features, no images, no links have been retained. It's just a very basic piece. Next, let's have a look at links4.rtf. This was the one that we said could be opened in any version of Microsoft Word. And here we go, it looks very similar to the original. Next, we now want to look at the links 5. Now, note there's a file named links 5, and there's also a folder named links 5 files. The file is the one to open, and this will draw information from the folder in order to build the web page. So double click on links5.html to open it. It should open in your default web browser. If you need to select, then select which one you want to use. 
and you'll find that the content is all present, most of the formatting is retained, but the web page does look a little different. What you'll also find is all the hyperlinks will now work as, as is normal for a web page by simply clicking on them. So if I click on to Senses, it will take me directly there. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.